Hello. So this video describes the working of uh, the programmable and energy efficient CGR accelerators. The need for ever increasing power efficiency targets paved the way for multi-cores and for hardware accelerators. So CGRs or coarse grain reconfigurable arrays, they are loop accelerators that can speed up even non-vectorizable loop in an energy efficient manner. CGRA is simply an array of processing elements or PEs interconnected by a 2D network. Each PE consists of an ALU-like functional unit and a register file or RF. At every cycle, instructions are issued to this PEs from the instruction memory. The PE gets the inputs from the neighboring PEs itself and registers and executes some operation. Then it writes the result into RF and to the output register from which the neighboring PEs may read the result in the next cycle. The PE can also get the data from the data memory and CGRA achieves higher power efficiency due to simpler hardware and intelligent software techniques. Due to their excellent power efficiency, CGRAs are quite popular for filtering and decoding in streaming applications and they are used in TVs, uh, projectors, software defined radios, cellular base stations, etc. While CGRs can certainly accelerate even highly parallel loops, the main potential of CGRs that we are interested in exploiting uh, is that uh, CGRs can accelerate loops with low par uh, parallelism. So th these are the loops like loops featuring uh, loop carrot dependencies or loops with high branch divergence or loops with low trip counts, etc. Now let's see how CGRS execute loops in a pipeline fashion. So we can see here the code of a loop from a multimedia application and for any of such loop, a data dependency graph or DDG can be generated after parsing the intermediate representation of the code. So this DDG shown here is a directed graph where this nodes represent the operation to be executed by PEs and edges represent the data dependencies among those operations. So we can see that in this DDG operations 1, 2, 4 and 9, so they are actually memory operations uh, which are shaded in blue. Now an iterative modulo schedule uh, is generated for DDG and operations are mapped on PEs in a software pipeline manner. So uh, we know that uh, once we schedule these operations, we can schedule operation 1 and 2 at time equals 1 and then we can schedule the operation 3 at time equals 2 and so forth. So when we are mapping these operations, uh, we can map operation 1 and 2 of iteration 1 at time t equals 1 and we can also map operation 3 of the first iteration at time t equals 2. We can also map operation 1 and 2 from the iteration 2. So similarly like once we reach uh, time t equals 7 uh, so we can see that operation 9 would execute uh, for iteration 1 but at the same time operation 8 of iteration 2 can start execution and likewise operation 1 and 2 of the 7th iteration can start their execution. So in this mapping since a new iteration for any operation that starts at every cycle we can say that the initiation interval or II of this mapping is 1. And IA is the key performance metric of the CGRA mapping process uh, and lower the IA means lower is the execution time of the loop. So to summarize, uh, since CGRAs execute the loop operations in a software pipeline manner, they can concurrently execute the loop operations uh, with 
its uh, interiteration dependencies. And in fact, this capability establishes CGRA as a general purpose accelerator solution to efficiently accelerate any performance critical loop. So thank you very much for taking your time in watching this video.